do 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 What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today guys, I'm finally speaking on a new show that is a reboot that I've kind of been curious about and uh, so far it's been pretty decent, uh, all things considered, and that is the reboot of Quantum Leap, which technically it's actually a continuation but with different characters uh, set in the same universe as the original Quantum Leap show, which starred Scott Bakula and Dean Stockwell, whom had passed within the past year or so. So rest in peace, Dean Stockwell. So overall, guys, my experience with Quantum Leap has always been one of fondness, and you know, it's kind of that nostalgia that I felt growing up, because even though I was a 90s kid, one of the things that I would do is, when I came home, I would watch Toonami, and then I would also watch Sci-Fi, because Sci-Fi would always have these reruns of different shows. You know, uh, Incredible Hulk. Uh, mil mo a six million dollar man different things like that and of course they also had quantum leap which i was just enthralled with i mean this show was you know filmed in the 80s but yet they did a lot of cool concepts and everything and the dynamic between uh scott bacula's sam beckett and dean stockwell's al calavici was just something that was you know uh lightning in a bottle i really enjoyed them and um i was just constantly watching the episodes after school it was just such a cool concept what would you do if you could go back and right the wrongs of the past to make the future better and so far the reboot actually has been something that hasn't been egregious at least in my opinion and again it's something that's kind of a new polished spin on it while still continuing what was before so the premise of the original um is taken to this one but it has a new doctor a new team and everybody who's actually continuing the project that was started with uh, Dr. Beckett and Al. Raymond Lee I think is awesome as the main uh, protagonist uh, Ben Song which is funny because they basically reversed the initials of his name from uh, Dr. Beckett's name and I think that that was really cool and then the other interesting dynamic is that his fiance is actually his hologram companion and the thing is is that as any fan of quantum leap knows as they've left they have a swiss cheese brain which they don't remember everything and there's a lot of gaps and whatnot they may be able to call upon their special skills and whatnot like knowing six different languages but yet they can't remember who they were supposed to marry or some things of their childhood but i just feel like there's a little bit more of a weight right there because you know hey it's interesting because he and his fiance were working on the project and then she becomes his holographic companion rather than, you know, a partner or anybody else overseeing. In this respect, we actually do see more of the present time team and what they're trying to do to get him back versus when it was just Sam and Al kind of doing everything. And there would be little tidbits here and there where you would see um, Al in the current time period or some team members but not to the extent that we're getting at least on these first two episodes so far I think the two first episodes have been very strong they're definitely taking a more serious tone with the show it's not as uh, fun um, as the original show had been known to get sometimes um, obviously the original show also did have its own little kind of serious dramatic beats uh, more times than not in the show especially when it dealt with uh, themes of uh, racism and sexism and whatnot so it was definitely a progressive show for its time and it had a lot of good themes and, and kind of really you know burning questions um, as the episodes were shown and definitely didn't shy away from sensitive subjects that occurred um, in U.S. history and whatnot and I expect the same to be happening in this one and one of the great things about this cast is Ernie Hudson and the funny thing is is that for Ernie Hudson's character Magic I didn't even realize it but if any fan of the show knows, this is a deep cut because Magic is actually one of the people that Sam leapt into and he was part of his brother's platoon. And the funny thing is, is that I just can't believe that I forgot it and I, and I remembered it the way that I did. But Magic was the nickname that they gave him because during the Vietnam War, he was able to move past, um, you know, mines and tripwires without setting them off and everything. And that's why they gave him the nickname Magic. So I thought that that was really a cool callback. And they even have Al's wife played by the same actress. And they also introduced in the second episode Al's daughter, who is actually a brilliant scientist as well, from what I can gather. All in all, I think that Quantum Leap is doing a great job of kind of paying some homage to the original. 
but being its own thing. Ben Song is not Dr. Beckett. He's not trying to be a clone of him. He is his own person. And of course, the first episode we see off the bat, he's gone to the 1980s to prevent uh, someone from dying in a jewel heist. And then in the second one, we see him in the 90s actually going up into a space and actually ensuring that not only is the person that he's leapt into not killed, but also that the whole crew was actually saved and whatnot um, in space when they are stranded because they can't re-enter Earth without some uh, issues happening where their ship will implode. Um, so that's just the general feel of it. Those are my thoughts on Quantum Leap. I think, again, that the show has uh, a good footing and a good start for sure. Um, thus far, it hasn't been egregious with any crazy things in there, and I really have enjoyed the first two episodes. But all in all, guys, if you haven't seen the Quantum Leap reboot, I highly recommend going to check it out. It's definitely... Uh, not 100% like the original show, at least in feel yet, but it's got potential, and I think that um, NBC, if they keep it going and give it some TLC, that it can definitely go for a few seasons and really have a good story. And I hope that they have some type of end game for it and that they can at least get to that point, whether it's within one, two, or even three seasons. I'm game for it, just so long as they don't end up force feeding you with a lot of heavy handed freaking messaging and not so subtle politics inside of it. Again, if they can do that, then I will be satisfied because so far the show's going at a good pace and I'm enjoying it for sure. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Quantum Leap episodes one and two. Go check it out if you haven't. And until next time, guys, as always, I'm Jay. So take care and bye.